Hey everybody and welcome to another episode of Daily Meditation with myself, Coach Rob Hamley, brought to you by Slugger Sports Academy. Today is episode 21, Tuesday Talk Edition, and today we are going to call this talk Tuning Out the Noise. So stay with us and we'll get right to that meditation. We're blessed to have you here, wherever you're at, whenever you're listening. We're, we've been very pleased to see the feedback about the, the daily meditations and those of you looking to better yourselves in the mental game. You know, I've talked about it before where the mental game is, is just as important, maybe more important than the physical attributes of the game. And so you being here is like getting that mental workout in. So we're so just happy to have you here working to learn and grow with us. So with that, uh, let's begin today's meditation. And I'll give you a little bit of time here, maybe 10 seconds, to really just get your breath centered into your natural organic cycle before we focus on today's talk. Remembering those five-second breaths, five-second inhales, five-second hold at the top, followed by the five-second smooth exhale. And this breathing, as you're going through it, is something that we really worked on practicing ourselves at Calvin. Talking to our guys on how the breathing isn't just to be done during meditation. It's something that we carry with us throughout the day when we find ourselves in high stress, high anxiety situations. Or maybe in a, in a situation where we feel a little overexcited, a little overstimulated. It's, you know, we feel that heart rate going up, but we know that we got to stay even keeled, level headed. So we bring ourselves back to the breath. You know, maybe even more so when we find ourselves in those big situations. It's really easy to lose that focus and make more of the situation than it really is. So bringing ourselves back to the breath is something you'll continuously hear me talking about during our mindfulness and meditation. Good. So now hopefully you're feeling relaxed. You're in a good position, feeling comfortable, and ready to get after it. So today's Tuesday talk, episode 21, is going to be on tuning out the noise. And I I will tell you, I was inspired by the latest docu-series episode this past Sunday on the 98 Chicago Bulls in the series entitled The Last Dance. And I found it really interesting on how... Jordan, you know, arguably the greatest of all time in the world of basketball, especially back in the early 90s, how he was able to walk away from the game. And he did it completely on his terms. You know, after the the 93 championship, he was just feeling exhausted, feeling tired. And he decided to make a decision for himself. And, you know, if you thought, saw the series, or you know uh, the history of this, you know, then he ended up going and playing professional baseball. And though he was Michael Jordan, he still had the doubters. You know, your quote, haters. <laughs> and people doubting him. However, he did it for himself. And I really gained a lot more respect for him. You know, Jordan, when he was at his peak, you know, I was just an elementary school age kid. I remember watching him play and I remember, you know, seeing the ESPN highlights. But I never really quite understood the underlying behind the curtain type um, happenings that he was dealing with. And I mean, to be Michael Jordan... You know, we're all not going to be a Michael Jordan, but, you know, for Michael Jordan, there was a lot of noise. However, even those those of us, we still have noise, noise in our lives. We still have doubt, you know, beyond our self-doubts. We have people who passively doubt what we are trying to accomplish, and that's fine. That's right. It's okay that people doubt you or people don't understand what you're trying to do. We're going to have to learn how to tune out the noise, you know, Especially in this in the athletic world, you know, baseball players, it's a game of failure. 
There is this inherent noise we bring on ourselves when we have a, a bad day at the plate, a bad day on the mound, a bad day in the field. And we have to be able to tune that out. We have to have this ability to have amnesia. we got to be able to forget and move on. You know, if you're trying to do a new workout regimen or you're trying to do something you've never done before, maybe something that your family has never done before, maybe your first generation going off to college, maybe you're, you know, the first in your family to uh, pursue an athletic scholarship, or maybe you're holding an athletic scholarship right now and you're thinking, you know, there's a lot of doubt. There's a lot of doubters. I doubt myself. And then, you know, when others doubt me, it just makes me doubt myself even more. And I, I understand that completely. You know, I can I can completely empathize with that not feeling adequate enough. You know, I remember very vividly being a senior and earning myself a scholarship to play at the next level and thinking, man, this is something that a lot of guys really covet and want. You know, what have I done to deserve this? And you start to fill your head if the what ifs, am I good enough? And from being there, I'll encourage you to understand you are good enough. You know, you've put in the work, you've put in the time, you've put in the effort. And if you have dreams and goals, they're your dreams and your goals, and you need to go after them. You're living your life. If you listen to the noise around you, you're going to have those regrets later on. Now, I'm not saying to um, not listen to people's advice because you definitely want to take people's advice and listen to it, but that doesn't mean you have to own it and, you know, use all of it. And that can be very confusing where you have different people of influence in your lives, parents, coaches, teachers, teammates who all have these opinions and you have to be able to decipher through that and find what's best for you. Keep it stupid simple. Find what's best for you, what works, and stay with it. If you have a dream or a goal and it's meaningful and it gets you excited, stay with it. You know, keep that goal, keep that dream. You might have to change the process and how to get there, but keep that dream and goal if it matters to you. And at the end of the day, just tune out the noise. And you'll find that it's it takes practice. It's something that even um, adults and people who have found success have to continuously work to understand and to um, be comfortable when there are those people out there who doubt you. I mean, look at Michael Jordan, you know, the greatest of all time. You know, decided to walk away from the game after, I think, was it, it was nine seasons to pursue another dream. And people thought he was crazy, right? And then, you know, he went... <laughs> Through the month of April, he had a 13-game hitting streak that that first season he was playing in Double A. And then, of course, pitchers started to see what he was doing to be successful, and they started throwing him breaking balls. And the old cliche, guys, when life th throws you curveballs, what do you do? I mean, we have to adapt. We have to be able to adapt to grow. And that adversity is what makes us stronger. It's, it, it's what makes us better. So embrace the noise. Embrace the curveballs. Embrace the adversity in the tough situations because when you go into them head first, when you go after them, you're going to come out stronger. And I'll tell you this, you're probably going to fail. More than likely, you're going to fail. You're going to stumble and there's going to be hurt. However, you are going to learn how to handle that and you become a different creature because of that. So when you're going through these tough times, the noise is getting louder. That means you're moving in the right direction. Do not shy away from it. Keep moving. Keep going. Right? There's the old saying, if you're going through hell, keep on going. Because if you stop, where are you going to be? Well, you're still going to be in hell. You got to keep moving. You got to keep growing. It's going to be tough. It's going to hurt at times. But that is what's going to make you into the man that you need to be. Trust me on that one. And when you come through it, that's where confidence comes from. Knowing that you did it on your terms, you listened to your heart, you kept moving, and now you stand tall. And no one can take that from you. So remembering, tune out the noise. Thank you once again for being here with us on this 
Tuesday Talk, episode 21. All we ask is that you give this channel a like, share out the video, and help us to spread the message, spread the word. And don't be afraid to give us some feedback. Find us on uh, our social media platforms that you'll see scroll across uh, at the end of this video, or reach out to us via email. And let us know what you're looking for as far as content. You know, we created this this YouTube page to help guide and assist in any way that we can and to better serve our community. So thank you once again, wherever you're at, whenever you're listening, for being here. We'll catch you again tomorrow with Wednesday Word. And until then, keep slugging.